Have you ever heard of the lost continent of Moo? No, it's not a new video game or a forgotten Disney movie. It's a supposed lost continent that has sparked debates and theories for over a century. The story of Moo is thousands of years younger than the tales of its fabled cousin, Atlantis. The idea of this lost continent was first proposed in the mid-19th century. The proposition arose as an attempt to explain the phenomenon of similar symbols, architecture and myths found in otherwise disparate ancient cultures around the world. Despite the intriguing correlations, there's a catch. There is no empirical evidence to support Mu's existence or the theories of its demise. This lack of evidence has not stopped the speculation and the controversy. The lost continent of Mu has been a subject of debate in various fields of study, from archaeology to mythology. Hold on to your hats because we're about to dive deep into the mystery of Mu, the lost continent. The lost continent of Mu was first proposed to explain certain phenomena that were otherwise unexplainable. Just think about it. Thousands of years younger than its fabled cousin Atlantis, the concept of Mu surfaced in the mid-19th century as a possible explanation for an intriguing mystery. Historians, archaeologists, and curious minds alike were puzzled by a common thread weaving through ancient cultures, separated by oceans and centuries. They found strikingly similar symbols, architectural styles, and myths in societies that seemingly had no contact with each other. How could the Mayans of Central America, the ancient Egyptians, and the civilizations of the Far East share such similarities if they never interacted? The answer, some suggested, was Mu. This lost continent, they hypothesized, was a vast landmass in the Pacific Ocean, home to an advanced civilization. The Muians, as we'll call them, supposedly spread their knowledge to other civilizations before their island home sank into the ocean, mirroring the Atlantis legend. But here's where we run into a brick wall. Despite the compelling narrative, there's a glaring lack of empirical evidence to support the existence of Mu. No remnants of this supposed civilization have been found on the ocean floor. No credible historical documents mention such a land. Even the shared symbols and architecture across cultures, the very phenomena that sparked the Mu theory, can be explained by the independent development of societies or possible prehistoric contact that doesn't involve a lost continent. And the theories about Mu's demise? They're just as speculative. Some propose cataclysmic earthquakes or volcanic eruptions, while others suggest a slow sinking due to rising sea levels. But without concrete evidence, these theories are just shots in the dark. So, while the idea of a lost continent is fascinating, the truth is, there's no solid evidence to support its existence. But, that doesn't mean the story ends here. Their story, like the mysteries they hope to solve, continues to captivate us. And who knows, maybe one day we'll stumble upon a clue that reshapes our understanding of our ancient past. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the myth of Mu has left a significant mark on popular culture. The concept of a lost civilization, hidden beneath the ocean waves, has captured the imagination of writers, filmmakers, and game developers alike. It's a narrative that has found its way into countless works of fiction, each one adding a new layer to the mythos of Mu. Let's dive into the world of literature first. Numerous authors have used the lost civilization of Mu as a backdrop for their stories. From James Churchward's series of books in the early 20th century, which popularized the myth, to more recent works of speculative fiction, the idea of Mu has continued to inspire. Moving on to the silver screen, filmmakers have also embraced the concept of Mu. It has served as the setting for epic adventures and the source of ancient, powerful artifacts. The allure of a lost civilization, with its promise of undiscovered riches and forgotten knowledge, has proven irresistible to storytellers. In the realm of video games, the influence of Mu is equally evident. Many games feature lost continents or ancient civilizations as key elements of their lore. The mystery and intrigue surrounding such places provide fertile ground for exploration and adventure. But why does the myth of Mu continue to captivate us? Perhaps it's the allure of the unknown, the thrill of discovery, or the fascination with a civilization that may have existed thousands of years ago. It's a testament to our enduring curiosity about our past and the mysteries that remain unsolved. In conclusion, while the existence of the lost continent of Mu remains a topic of debate, its impact on popular culture is undeniable. It has inspired countless works of fiction and continues to fuel our fascination with lost civilizations and the unknown. Whether you believe in the lost continent of Mu or not, one thing is for sure. It's a tale that will continue to captivate the imaginations of many for years to come.